from GW basic today we are going to learn control structures like the traffic policemen control the flow of traffic on the roads similarly in GW basic the control structures control the flow of execution of a program the control structures are basically a line or a set of lines that control the flow of program there are three types of control structures sequence selection and loop sequence means that you have to move in sequence from the smallest line number to the greatest one in sequence structure the instructions are executed according to the increasing order of their line numbers so instructions at the smaller line numbers will be executed first then the instructions at the greater line numbers for example if i have written a program with line number 10 20 and 30 line number 10 will be executed first then 20 and then 30. you can see the output the transfer of control is of two types unconditional and conditional the program control switches to a specific line number by skipping one or more lines without any condition is known as unconditional transfer of control and if the program control switches to a specific line number by skipping one or more lines depending on a certain condition then we will say that it is conditional transfer of control now let's see how does unconditional transfer of control work Unconditional transfer of control moves the control from one part of the program to the other without any condition. Go to statement is used to implement the unconditional transfer of control. Let's see how. Let's check out an example of unconditional transfer of control. For example, let's suppose if I say you go to step number 4 without any condition by skipping step number 2 and 3, then you will move on to step number 4. This is how the program control switches from one line to another by unconditional transfer of control. Go to statement is used to implement unconditional transfer of control. Go to statement transfers the control from a program line to another out of the normal program sequence. Syntax is line number go to line number. For example, see the following program. In line number 10 it is written print Punjab and in line number 20 it is written go to 50 means that the control will be switched from line number 20 to line number 50 by skipping line number 30 and 40. See the output. It will print Punjab and after that what is written in line number 50, KPK. Now let's check out how does conditional transfer of control work. Conditional transfer of control moves the control from one part of the program to the other depending upon certain condition. There are many statements in GW Basic used to implement conditional transfer of control. Here we will run only two, that is on go to and on error go to. Let's check out what is on go to statement. It is a multiple branching statement. Syntax is on a condition or expression go to n1, n2, n3 and so on where n1, n2 are representing the line numbers. So here is an example of conditional transfer of control. For example, we have some fruits over there in each of the step. And if I say you go to step of your choice, then you will think what to eat. Then you will move on to that specific step. This is known as conditional transfer of control. On your thinking and on your choice, you will go to or move to a specific step. Let's check out an example of on go to statement from GW Basic. The program is asking me to enter two numbers A and B and after that enter choice 1 for add, 2 for sub, 3 for multiplication and 4 for division and it will store my choice in variable n. In line number 30 the on go to statement is written on n go to 40, 50, 60 and 70 means that on my choice on n if I have entered 1 it will go to first line number that is 40. If I have entered 2, it will move on to line number 50, which is the second in the row. And in line number 40, 50, 60 and 70, all the four operations are written and after performing these operations, the program should end. Let's execute the program.
it will ask me two numbers i have provided 60 and 40 after that it will ask me to enter choice i have entered two here for subtraction and the control transferred from line number 30 to line number 50 the second line in a row and give me the answer after subtraction 20. what will happen if an error occurs in our program we use on error go to statement this command enables error trapping feature of GW Basic and transfers the control to the first line of error handling routine. Error handling routine is also a set of lines which will handle the error and remove it. Syntax is on error go to line number. Ok, let's see an example of conditional transfer of control in the case when error will occur. If I say you in case of a problem call for help. And I say you move on to step number 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. You will start moving step number 1, step 2 and step 3. And when you will reach on step number 3, you see that the staircase is broken. You cannot reach up to step number 4. What will you do? You will stop there and ask for help. In GW Basic, when an error occurs, its code is assigned to a special variable named ERR and the line number where it was encountered to another special variable ERL. In response to your help call, some people will reach you with their tools to mend the staircase. They behave as error handling routine, a set of steps to fix the error. Now your error is fixed. How to exit from an error handling routine? Your staircase is now okay. What to do next? Either start from the same step. This is known as resume. Or the next step of the error which is known as resume next. Or you can mention a line number to start with. This is known as resume line number. And in other case, you can end the program by simply writing end. Let's check out an example of on error go to statement from GW Basic. The first line of the program states that if an error occurs, go to line number 70. Line number 20 and 30 are asking to input two numbers of integer type. These numbers will be multiplied and result will be stored in another integer type variable R. Then in 50, we will print the result and end the program. In case, if the error will occur, the error handling routine states in line number 70 to print the error code ERR and in 80, print error line number ERL2 and end the program. When I execute the program, the first number is too large to fit in an integer type variable. So it will give me an error with code and line number. The second time when the program is executed with smaller numbers, this time the error will occur when the result would not fit it in an integer type variable after multiplication.